My fascination with clay began at a very young age and is probably rooted in my passion for creating, my need to tell a story. Clay has been the most constant and cooperative and versatile material in my path to express myself. To understand this medium takes time and dedication and needs a lot of self-discipline. It requires repetition and a commitment to observation and perseverance through trial and error and uncertainty. My studio is my haven and clay has been my ally in this path to create a dialogue between concept and form and function. By exploring the properties of the material and pushing the limits of these properties and learning its language, I seek a harmonious combination of biomorphic forms that examine the sculptural vocabulary until the object becomes something new and mysterious and most of all, an object that reveals a hidden narrative. There is always order in my work, maybe because I live in a chaotic city, or maybe because I'm an architect, or maybe both. But truly at the essence of it all lies an insatiable curiosity to learn. I love that with clay I work with the four elements, Water stretches shapes into the earth, air commits them to form, and fire becomes the founding act that brings them to life. Every step in this creative process brings on new parameters that push me onto a new path. Cracks, shrinkage, the memory that clay possesses, glaze. All these variables shift the direction towards the final piece. It is not about being unable to achieve perfection. On the contrary, it is about accepting the imperfect while being in control of one's craft. In the walls of clay forms, secrets unfold. Nothing is finished and nothing is perfect. It takes a mind quiet enough to appreciate silent beauty, courage not to fear spontaneity, willingness to accept things as they are, graceful in their delicate asymmetry. It truly hinges upon the ability to slow down, to shift the balance from doing to being, to grasp the subtly graceful, the quietly sculptural.